Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another restaurant menu met here. Today I am doing Chinese restaurant Peking Po Cha. This is one of my favorite dish at the restaurant. I love it. I haven't gone to a Chinese restaurant for a long time because of the COVID-19 and I've been craving for this dish. This is my favorite Peking style Po Cha. If you have not yet subscribed to the Food Travel Shopping Channel, let me tell you, you're missing out. So go ahead and click the subscribe button right now so you won't miss another episode of my restaurant remake. Make sure you turn on that bell notification to receive my latest video and update. So let me show you how to make this dish right now. Okay, here's the ingredients to make our Peking style pork chop. Okay, so to tenderize our pork chop, we are going to give it a couple of pounds here. Okay, so after pounding our pork chop here, okay, we're gonna marinate our pork chop here. I have two tablespoons of the Xiaoheng wine. So this is a Chinese cooking wine. And then two tablespoons of the soy sauce, and that's the light soy sauce. And then one fourth teaspoon of the five spice powder here. Okay, so just go ahead and use your hand here to marinate the pork chop. Okay, so we want to marinate this for at least half an hour. So we'll come back half an hour later and we'll do the next step. Okay, so after marinate it for at least half an hour, we are going to coat it with some flour and cornstarch and baking soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine the dry ingredients together here. We have cornstarch, we have the flour here. So two tablespoons of the um, cornstarch. I have four tablespoons of flours here and then uh, one teaspoon of the baking soda. Okay, we're also going to add in our cold water. So directly pour the flour mixture and the water <clears throat> into the marinated okay so now we're ready to go ahead and fry our pork chop okay so now we are ready to fry i am outside my patio here so uh, the deck area i am going to put my pork chop in make sure it's 375 degrees we're gonna cook it for five minutes first so we're gonna do this in batch. So I'm gonna put four at a time. Okay, we will be frying it twice. So we'll come back in five minutes and see what's the result of the first frying. Take a look at the initial results here. We are going to fry it again in order to make it crispy. Okay, so here's the results of round one of frying. So we're gonna fry it again for a minute. I'm gonna just drop it back in and then take it back out. Okay, so round two of the frying. Let it fry for a minute. Okay, so round two of frying. Let's take it back out using a new bowl here with a fresh paper towel here. So then that's a strain off those SS oil here. Okay. 
continue with your round two of the frying. You just need to fry it for one more minute. Okay, so after another minute, let's take it out. Okay, one minute has been done. Let's take out our final batch here. I just want to show you the results of the frying here. Okay, look how nice it is. I'm going to bring it back inside and show you how to finish up with the sauce. Okay, here are the ingredients to make our sauce. Okay, so let me show you how to prepare this sauce. All right, so we're going to add in our ketchup here first. Okay, add in the brown sugar here. Okay, you can start seeing the ketchup to get darker because of the, from the brown sugar here as well. Gonna add in our black vinegar. And then gonna add in the Worcester sauce. Okay, followed by the hoisin sauce. Some sesame oil. Okay, I have poured in some of the water into the cornstarch mixture here. So add the remaining water in to the sauce. Bring it back to a boil. Okay, once the sauce is boiled, we're gonna thicken up the sauce with our cornstarch water here. So go ahead and add that in. Okay, you can clearly see our sauce is now really thick. Just add a little bit more water if you think the sauce is too thick for you. All right, so this is a good consistency here. This is, okay, we're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna add in our pork chop in here, directly into the sauce. Okay, go ahead and toss, and make sure our pork chop is completely covered with the sauce here. Okay, so now we're ready to plate. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plate our picking style pork chop. All right, so I'm gonna, I have this beautiful white plate here. I am gonna go ahead and plate it nicely one by one because I wanna give it very, no, nothing too sloppy here, all right. Okay, so we're gonna top it off with our scallion here on top here. Give it a good generous amount of scallion here on top. Okay, also we're gonna do sprinkle our sesame, the white sesame here. Wow, look at this dish. It's amazing. All right, now I'm ready for my taste test. So let me get a piece here, maybe on the side. Oh, so nice. Oh, so good. Can't wait to try. 
Mmm. So good. The pork chop is so tender and it's not dry. It is so good. I need a bowl of rice to go with this. If you have not yet subscribed to the Food Travel Shopping channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for our latest video and update. Thank you for watching my entire video on this Peking style pork chop. Stay tuned for my next video and update. Thanks for watching.